today's outdoor project. Changing the oil on this uh, 2012 uh, little outboard Yamaha four stroke outboard. And excuse the vehicle noise. But I uh, just want to show a few pointers. For the lower unit, changing the motor oil and uh, the lower unit oil. And you have the uh, upper and lower here. Um, fill and drain uh, screw. And to get those, they have a big flathead like that. You really need a really good screwdriver because you got to seat that really well. I don't know if that qualifies as good, but you need a big, robust screwdriver. To say that. And the thing is, is what you also see these. This is a rubber crush washer that goes over that to seal that. And each time you do this annually, you see. I don't know. You really need to change these. This is the new one here black but it's the right part number for this motor but if you can see I mean that's almost it's been crushed and basically almost damaged so you can see that would easily could have easily potentially crack and let water in talking about the lower unit here this is the grease for that lower gear case in these little Yamahas now what I learned the hard way is you cut this tip here don't cut much of it off because just the very little bit on these smaller ones seats and what you do is seats into the drain and you need to do it from the bottom upward like this with the with the top one open and that eliminates air bubbles and such and that's the way it's recommended to be done it's a little tricky but not really so point point being I'm gonna cut that sparingly so it fits into that properly and get it capped but I just figured I'd share a couple tips like that and then these four strokes have of course the little like a car engine we've got the little small cartridge filters now Sorry. that spin on filter goes in there but uh, yeah, we know that stuff, but I just figured I'd share those tips. And you're supposed to change the oil when you're done for the um, season, when you're winterizing, so it sits with new oil in it. So it's not acidic to the parts. Um, and the same with that gear case oil, especially because if you've had a water leak in the prop shaft seal or those drain and fill, and it mixes with that and it, and it freezes in that internally in there for the off season, it can damage it. And also make sure your prop isn't tilted upward um, in such a way that it would gain ice and water in the end there and be freeze in the winter. That's not very helpful either. These are all things I've learned from my personal experience. I just figured I'd share them with anybody who might be interested. All right, over and out.